hello and welcome back so welcome to the second uh, video of this series we are learning grammar and now we are we'll talk about this concrete noun and abstract nouns so here is a very interesting uh, sentence he smelled the marriage wow so what do you think hmm, is it okay to say he smelled the marriage no why because it's unusual we can't smell a marriage okay so these are the two nouns a concrete and abstract noun a very basic information or the basic thing you have to remember is that as well as this concrete noun is there we can perceive it with our senses okay either we can see it we can hear it we can smell it we can taste it or we can touch it so all these these are the concrete nouns and those nouns that are not concrete they are abstract like marriage it's something uh, that is abstract okay so these uh, the list is given here like a newspaper heel glass jewelry uh, all these these are the concrete nouns you, uh, yes we can touch a newspaper we can see a newspaper uh, but can we see an honesty like can we see or can we tell a person like this is honesty no it means it's the abstract noun uh, so a tip is there that concrete nouns they refer to things we can perceive with one of our senses and abstract nouns they can't be perceived by our senses so test yourself it's 2.1 uh, you have to write this uh, either it is the concrete noun or it is an abstract noun like muffin is there violin is there freedom uh, all these words are here and you can write here concrete or abstract uh, 2.2 the next exercise uh, here again uh, these are some of the nouns and uh, the tip is also here that when you put the the before the word uh, whether it looks like a unit or not okay like uh, confusion can we say the confusion yes we can say so it's a noun and uh, again uh, like can we say uh, the shockingly okay no we can't say uh, we are just talking about this only one word shockingly okay if there is some other word with the shockingly then uh, the like we can say the shockingly news uh, but we are only talking about this only one word so uh, please don't confuse you have to consider this only one word here that is given here okay uh, in this way uh, you have to do this exercise uh, some more examples are given here uh, like an abstract noun is sometimes easier to identify if you create a sentence with it this is the other tip like when you are doing this uh, english grammar uh, you can make a sentence like uh, if the word happiness is there uh, you can say the happiness on her face delighted him the happiness on her face delighted him so happiness is a noun and uh, these some other examples are also given here then uh, another uh, tip is there like if you can put his in front of a word and it sounds like a unit the word is a noun okay like you were you are using this his uh, for example this word obligation is there uh, can we say his obligation yes we can say okay so it is a noun and uh, like uh, can we say uh, also try like uh, see this word here just add his like his jumped we can say his jumped so, so it will not be a noun because uh, it's not it, it is not looking uh, like a unit okay so test yourself 2.4 is there and uh, these uh, there is the mixture of this concrete noun and abstract nouns uh, you have to take uh, you have to uh, draw this cross here uh, in front of either it is a noun or not a noun and test number five is there now these are some of the sentences and uh, you can add this his word here and uh, uh, some yes uh, in these sentences there could be more than one nouns okay like there are some sentences there will be more than one nouns uh, in uh, these sentences you have to just underline uh, all those sentences and you can also check the answers given at the end but kindly again i'll st i'll request you do not check the answers first just practice 
and then you can check your answers but if you have any confusion you can uh, ask so 2.6 is there again uh, the same practice session is there and that's the end of this uh, unit and in the next unit we will be talking about these singular and plurals in lesson number three uh, that is the end uh, kindly subscribe to my channel if you like this also share with your colleagues and you are most welcome if you have any confusion in any point you can directly contact me uh, via whatsapp or any other medium thank you very much and bye